Hey everyone, so I have a 9 by 12 canvas and today we're going to do a reverse swipe. We haven't done one in a while so I thought we'll just do one for all our newbies that are watching. Um, I do spray my cups with the WD-40 silicone spray, so I'll get that done. I have a feeling I'm going to go blurry so I'm going to place that on the canvas just to keep us focused. Okay. So I'm going to start with olive green, and this is from Soho. All the paints in my bottles have silicone in them. The paint mixing videos are down below in the description. Um, you can click on those links and learn how we mix our paints. Uh, next color will be the Folk Art Peridot Metallic. It's a very pretty color. And then our next color will be the Lucas Mint. This is um, Soho and Lucas are from Jerry's Artorama. Uh, this is the Lucas Van Dyke Brown. I don't want too much of that in there. And then the Craft Smart Gold, which is Michael's. It's the prettiest gold I've found. And I think I'll go back with the green. just to give us a little more color. We're not doing quite as heavy as the first time. Just a touch of brown. And some gold. And I'm going to swirl that just a little bit. That gold is sitting right on top. Alright, so when we do a reverse swipe we do this as a flip cup. And then we place white around it. should be plenty because the cup itself will cover the canvas. But what we're going to do is pull white over it and maybe get a little marbling effect some lacing and webbing. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. It doesn't have to be perfect because so we're going to cover it up. So when I do this I scoop the paint and go all the way up to the color and pull it over. And you don't have to get it all covered. I like to let mine set for a few just to um, let the cells start coming up. And I like to give it a torch to get the bubbles out. Alright, so now I'm going to start tilting. I like to see where my color is at. So I already know that I have a lot of white right here. So I'm going to see if I can just bring that down by rocking my canvas. I don't have a ton of cells yet, so I still have time to play without getting them all wonky. I call them Pac-Man cells. You'll hear some artists call them Pac-Man cells. All right, let me wipe my hands. Now we're going to torch. And then we're going to let it rest and I'll bring you back so you can see what it looks like. 
So if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, click below and click on that bell so you get notified when we upload our new videos. Okay, so they're starting to come up. So let's pause the video. I'll be back in about five or ten minutes and you'll get to see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> it did develop quite a bit. I got a lot of new little cells. I did give it a tiny little torch before I unpaused you. So I will bring you up for a close-up. Um, I do have a lot of little tiny cells. I'm hoping that they will grow a little bit more, but it is just like overwhelming with cells. So I will show you. But I'm glad I didn't put a lot of brown in there because I think it would have been too much brown. But that's it for that one. Um, like I said, subscribe if you haven't and click on the bell. You'll be notified when we upload another video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook at our group Paraj Posse and also my art page Christina Welch Art. Um, check out Amazon for all our paint pouring supplies and Etsy for our paintings and the Stone Coat Art Coat Resin code is below as well. You get $10 off a $95 order using the code Posse. Um, also, sorry, there was someone coming towards my door. I got a little nervous. <laughs> Turned around. <laughs> okay, so, um, our fan mail post office box address is below. If you want to support the channel, our PayPal link is below as well. And also join us every Monday night at 9 p.m. when Ellen and I paint live. We have a great time. And we will see you all on the next one. Bye now.